And in the wake of the intense protest by the pressure groups in Garo Hills, CEM of Garo Hills Autonomous District Council, Rakesh Sangma, has tendered his resignation. His resignation letter to the governor, Rakesh Sangma, stated that he was stepping down on moral grounds. It may be mentioned that the conglomeration of pressure groups in Meghalaya have been engaged in relentless protest, demanding the ouster of Rakesh Sangma, accusing him of not following Garo customs. Well, Rakesh Sangma stepping down comes as a blow to the Chief Minister Conrad Sangma, as well as the NPP chief had backed Rakesh's appointment as CEM, stating that he had been democratically elected. Meanwhile, a shops in Tura Bazaar downed shutters with a pressure group members set to take out a victory rally after Rakesh Sangma's resignation. So, big story at this point in time. Viewers from the state of Meghalaya in the wake of the intense protest by pressure groups in Garo Hills. CEM of Garo Hills Autonomous District Council, Rakesh Sangma, has tendered his resignation. And in his resignation letter to the governor, Rakesh Sangma stated that he was stepping down on moral grounds. It may be mentioned that a conglomeration of pressure groups in Meghalaya have been engaged in relentless protests demanding the ouster of Rakesh Sangma, accusing him of not following Garo customs. Well, Rakesh Sangma's stepping down comes as a blow to Chief Minister Conrad Sangma as well as the NPP chief who had backed Rakesh's appointment as CEM, stating that he had been democratically elected. Meanwhile, shops in Tura Bazaar downed shutters with a pressure group members set to take out a victory rally after Rakesh Sangma's resignation. All right, we are being joined by our Garo Hills correspondent, Biplab Deva, to give us the latest on this story. Well, Biplab, CEM Rakesh Sangma resigns a setback for Chief Minister Conrad Sangma. Victory from a pressure groups. What are the fresh developments? Uh, fresh development. Actually, the rally that is, is going to be taking place today would not actually have been uh, so impactful because the resignation was uh, completed yesterday itself. However, a small goof up, okay, by uh, by I, I believe the NPP people actually ensured that you know people were confused about what exactly was happening because uh, the first resignation letter that was sent to us uh, had a date issue. Okay, it was dated in 2020, and uh, of course later they corrected the whole thing. By, but by then the entire uh, you know the letter had gone viral, and people could not believe after the second letter was actually produced. So today, this 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 morning, a uh, lot of people from everywhere, all across Garo Hills, have actually come forward to join in the protest rally. And of course, uh, since uh, Raj, Rakesh has already resigned, they've decided that instead of a protest rally, they would uh, they would take out a victory rally. Okay. Okay, okay, Biplav is uh, Siju MDC, uh, Albinush Marak uh, taking over as the new CEM. Uh, what is the latest update? Uh, yes, Albinus is set to take over as new CEM, but then uh, that would require a session, uh, a special session, because uh, voting has to be uh, undertaken once again. So we'll have to we'll have to wait for uh, the development that is uh, the, uh, the update that's given to us by the uh, GNDC later this evening. You know, when uh, by when we should know as to when exactly the session would be held and uh, by when we would have a new CEM in the chair. All right, and Biplav, uh, at what time is the victory rally going to start uh, by the pressure groups? Uh, we expect the rally to be starting at about 3 to 3.30 in the, uh, in the afternoon. Uh, it will go, it's expected to go through the uh, town area and that is the reason as to why the shops have, uh, have been asked to shut down by the administration because they anticipated uh, some kind of, uh, you know, trouble.